Good morning everyone. This is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. How are you all doing this morning? I've got my book Jesus Calling in front of me and I'm going to be reading today's devotion from it. Today is Friday, August 26. So I will go to August 26 and I will read today's devotional with, for you. Here we go. I'm on it kind of this way, and I'd like it a little closer for you all to check on it too. It says, trust me in the midst of a messy day. Your inner calm, your peace in my presence need not be shaken by what is going on around you. Though you live in this temporal world, your innermost being is rooted and grounded in eternity. When you start to feel stressed, detach yourself from the disturbances around you. Instead of desperately striving to maintain order and control in your little world, relax and remember that circumstances cannot touch my peace. Seek my face and I will share my mind with you, opening your eyes to see things from my perspective. Do not let your heart be troubled. And do not be afraid. The peace I give is sufficient for you. Here are the verses. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. That is John. Verse 6. Or chapter 16, verse 33. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. That is Psalm 105, verse 4. Peace I leave you, with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. That is John chapter 14, verse 27. I would like to hear you to leave a comment in the or in the comments section down below. Leave a comment what this means to you. I have trouble relaxing and resting in my trust in the Lord. I try to, I preach it, but it's hard when circumstances get me all wound up. As you know, yesterday, if you watched my live, I had a really rough day yesterday. And it wasn't always rough. It was towards the end of the school day. The beginning of the day was okay. My last two classes were rough. Um, and it's hard to... Remember that God is your peace when you have a lot of turmoil going on around you. I even found it hard to pray during those times. I always try to pray. And I had trouble during the last couple classes. So... I don't know, let me know what you, how your days go. 
make me feel like I'm not the only one who struggles with this. I will talk to you all later. Hope you all have a good day. I'll be back on later to talk more about my craft. I was working on my top a little bit last night. And I think I'm getting more done, but it's slow going because it's a number two weight yarn. But here's the arm. And this is what I've got of the bodice on one side. And here's the other side, what I've got done. Here's the arm, and this is starting the bodice. So I'll show you all more of when I, in my next video. Alright, you all have a blessed day. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the description box. Tell me what, if you struggle with this, because I do. Re remembering that the peace of God is with us at all times, even when we have difficult times in our days. Let me know, please. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later, and I look forward to reading your comments. Bye for now.